Get your Jaegers at Big Bad Toy Store. Check out the link in the description down below. Kaiju, Dragon Ball, Pokemon, and more. It's Steven's Toy Reviews. Hello there, collectors. It is Steven here, and welcome back to more Pacific Rim Uprising reviews. This time, we are going to be taking a look at the Tamashi Nation's Robot Spirits Saber Athena. This very swift swordsman or swordswoman Jaeger, depending on how you view things in the world, is finally released in the Robot Spirits line right in time for the release of the new movie, Pacific Rim Uprising. Actually, the technical release date being about a week before the movie launched. Launches, so that is very nice to see here. But we do have one of the main four in action figure format just in time for the movie release. And folks are going to want to know at $30, is this something that Bandai had really cheaped out on and just made a very subpar figure? Or is this something that where you're going to be getting a whole lot more than what you are paying for? Again, it's 30 bucks. How good is it? Let's take a look to see whether or not it's worth adding into your collection. Saber Athena basically works off of two different colors. We do have the very, very red-orange coloration for the main body and for a whole bunch of different parts like the shoulder pads. And then we do have the silver grayish coloration for other parts like the joints in the midsection on the biceps and whatnot. But here's one issue. Saber Athena has a lot of panel lining in the official CGI model and in the promotional artwork, which is definitely missing here. Yes, it's on the forearms and on the upper thighs and maybe a couple of other spots where I can't see and think of right off the top of my head, but it is definitely noticeably lacking here and that's not a good thing, even if it is a little easier on the wallet, but still... The sculpted detail is very nice. When we take a look at the head, we can actually see that the eyes where the conpod would be are a nice shiny metallic blue, which is very, very sweet to see. We do also have some fantastic sculpted detail for the back hind wings, whatever you would prefer to call them, on Saber Athena. So those panels are good to see as well. And it's also worth noting, very, very familiar to the Ava units. Hmm... Wondering if there's any design inspiration there. But anyway, like some of the other Jaegers in the line so far, we do have some fantastic decal work that's found on the shoulders, the sternum, and on the forearms of this Jaeger. So it's good to see a continuation of that quality and attention to detail. On the chest, we do have one panel here, and I say it's a panel because it does look like it's an actual vent. It's actually textured, it's sculpted really well. It's made of a silverish gray plastic, so even though there isn't any wash to be found here, if the light catches it correctly, then the shadows which are cast make it look like it has even more detail. Continuing to move on down, we do see a common theme of fantastically sculpted areas where they could have absolutely included some panel lining to it, but they didn't. But we do see things like gears and mechanical parts, which I... You know, not familiar with my mechanical terminology, but it overall does look very nice. Whether or not it would be displayed out kneecap areas, or we do see some very, very interesting design work for the ankles, Saber Athena's legs look great. The arms look fantastic as well, as we can definitely see there are some areas which look like there might be pistons in the full CGI model, so when I see that on the big screen, it's going to be very, very cool to see there. On the back of Saber Athena, it does look like we have one small turbine or some jet booster of some sort, so maybe that is an effect part that could have been included some way, shape, or form. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to find that out when I see the movie. But something that they did continue the trend with with other Jaegers is that on the back of Saber Athena, there's basically no attention to detail. So overall, for $30, they did the absolute bare minimum that they needed to to make Saber Athena look very nice. But at the same time, they did cut some corners and not include a lot of detail. So Saber's articulation is relatively solid, just like all the other Jaegers. And with that in mind, let's take a closer look. The head attaches into the neck on a ball joint, so this way you can twist and turn it around, rock it forward and back, and move it from side to side like that. We get a, it to look down about that far, up about that far, and then the actual neck here is attached into the body on a ball joint, so we can move it around a little bit more, so that way full movement forward is about that far, and then with a little bit of finagling, we can get Sabre to look up about that high. 
We do have these little wing parts on the back which are attached on ball joints so you can move those around as you would like. We can give them a little bit of a tilt to make it look like Saber is running super fast. That is always nice to see. In typical Robot Spirits Jaeger form, we do have shoulder pads that are articulated. Yeah, they're on ball joints. So this way, when you move the shoulders around at the multi-ball joint swivel system, the swivel plugs into the shoulder, and then the arm parts are ball joints. Uh, they are free to move around, so this way you can move Saber's arms up about that high. Forward out, uh, once you finagle it around a little bit. Straight ahead. Back all the way there. We do have a bicep swivel and double hinged elbows, so we can bend about there. And then we have double ball jointed wrists. And unfortunately, these splayed hands are rather easy to pop off, so do keep that in mind. So that would be the arm articulation. When we move down to the ab crunch, it is on a ball joint, but it's more of a twisting and turning sort of ball joint instead of rocking forward and back because not too, too much movement there. Just just barely a wiggle, yeah? That's not necessarily something that everybody likes. For a waist joint, there really isn't one, except for the hips plug in to the body on a ball joint, so if you wanted to, you can twist and turn Saber Athena like that. Forward and back movement there. And then for the hips, the legs plug in on a ball joint. They go out about that far back yeah we do have some robot booty there so unfortunately you're not going to be able to move them back too far but the legs plug into the thighs on a ball joint so you can get the legs to move out a bit more and on that ball joint you can get the legs to move back even farther so that's good to see they also swivel as usual and when you use the ball joints there you can get the legs to spread out about that far and we have double hinge knees which is very nice. So we're going to have a complete bend there. Then we have pretty much the best ball jointed ankles out of all of the Robot Spirits Jaeger so far. Unfortunately, we can't go back too far, but look at that bend forward. Then we have ankle rockers. So overall, Saber Athena has some great articulation, and I believe this is going to be the best one in terms of movement out of the bunch. So if you really like to have articulated robot action figures, this is definitely going to be one to consider. Now for accessories, Saber Athena is pretty straightforward. We get some fists that have holes in them, so this way it can hold the plasma swords. We get two small ones, and then we get one combined one, and that's it. There is also, just like the other Jaegers, a spot in the back where you can pop a plate off and you can plug a Tamashi stage support system in the hole there, but that's not really so much as it is an accessory as it is a feature, but regardless... This is all we get with Saber Athena. So taking a closer look at all of these goodies, they're really easy to use, but you just got to use a little bit of force when swapping out the hands. So all you have to do is just, like I showed you before, easily pop off the splayed hands. And then, if you don't drop them, they can be a little difficult to push on. Seems like the hole's a bit too small. There you go. Now we have the fists, at least one on anyway. And then all you have to do for the swords or the saber is just slide it in. Now the detailing is actually really nice. You can make out some smaller details similar to Gypsy's chain sword. It looks like we have some individual links because I guess this is supposed to be made of plasma. So it's really nice to see here. The metallic blue paint job is exquisite here. Very nice and shiny. It's definitely going to be eye-catching on the shelf, especially when it contrasts the nice reddish-orange color of Saber Athena. So we have that here for the individual one, and of course we do have the double blade right here, which can fit into a single hand, so you don't have to double up on hands if you don't want to, but you know what? We can go ahead and we can just see what that might look like. If you wanted to have Saber Athena, see what I mean by sometimes it can be difficult to pop a fist on. See what that looks like if Saber were to hold it with two hands there. So we'll move that up. And there you go. So if you wanted to make it look like Saber Athena was combining the swords 
in one moment on your shelf. So if you wanted to recreate that action scene, you can definitely do that. And this sword does look really nice as well. We do have characteristics of the two combined together. It does look like the blades reach up to one defined tip like you would find in a normal sword instead of something that would be like a smaller blade. So it's really cool to see the added detail here. And once again, it's the same blue as the two smaller blades. So it's definitely going to be eye catching as well. Now, finally, that one back panel piece that is going to be used for the support arm system that you don't need to use a claw, just pop that part off there, it reveals a hole, then take your support arm and plug the peg right into that hole there, nice and snug, and now you don't need to use a support claw with a support arm for Saber Athena, very nice to see there. So overall for the accessories for Saber Athena, very, very light, but they do get the job done in having one awesome swordsman, swordswoman, hmm, action figure. But of course, you can always enhance your display with more effect parts, and if you do need help finding some of those, click on the card in the top right-hand corner of your screen. So overall, for articulation and accessories, you're definitely going to have some fun with Saber Athena, both in how it moves and the different display options, having one awesome swordsman robot on your shelf. And to round out the review here is a size comparison with the whole second wave of Robot Spirits Jaegers from Bandai alongside some other figures you just might have. So as you can see, they all fit in relatively well with pretty much any 6-inch kaiju display you're going to have on your shelf. So, buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. Overall, Saber Athena Sculpt is really great, but unfortunately, the lack of paint job here does leave a lot to be desired, including some sculpt points that I think could really be accented and highlighted had they gone the extra mile to really bring out those details with a fantastic wash or actually bothered to panel line it to make it closer to what we'll actually be seeing on screen. The accessories are solid, getting two smaller blades, one combined blade and the splayed hands and the articulation is every single action figure fans dream basically at about 30 bucks saber athena is absolutely a win though i do see some folks straying away from this jaeger simply because of the stark orange coloration of it and at the same time it is very reminiscent of an ava unit so maybe some folks who would have ava unit O2 might want to skip on this one just because of robot design similarities. But at the end of the day, this, let's be honest, spiritual successor to Crimson Typhoon is very, very nice to see on the shelf. And I have to say that I am very happy to have this one. Well, folks, that's the end of this review. Thanks for watching and be sure to follow me on social media to catch more behind the scenes shenanigans and updates. The end card should be popping up now with more hand selected STR goodness for you to watch. So check out some of those videos. Be sure to check the description too to see where you can buy this figure or others like it and some cool links like the credits for this video and other ways you can help out the channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.